Welcome to the MSI channel where I try to resurrect an old MSI 8080 computer. All right, this is what I use to repair the uh, floppies. Um, I have a small piece of uh, neoprene rubber, about two thirds the thickness of a dime, uh, a tiny little piece. And I uh, use 10 minute epoxy to glue one piece on one side of the metal and one piece on the other side of the metal. So it creates a sandwich. You can see the sandwich here. Um, so now the solenoid can rotate back and forth and have a nice landing spot. So uh, let's go try them out, see if we have three drives working. Okay, we should have three drives now, A, B, and C. Let's try them out. The A drive boots. The B drive works. The C drive works. A, B, and C. Very nice. So you can see our A drive um, is a low density, uh, 128K byte records, um, 1944. B drive is low density, also 1944. C drive is high density, 9600. So you can see the A drive and the B drives are only 243 kilobytes. And the C drive is 1200 kilobytes, 1 1.2 megabytes. Very nice. Let's make sure the B drive can take a high density disk. I will take out the C drive diskette and I'll put it in B. And we'll go over there. And oops, that will have stat there. Stat B. Oops, DRB. Okay, stat B. Uh, I think when you change diskettes, you need to reboot. Otherwise, it won't recognize anything's different. I don't know. I don't remember how that works. DRB. Yeah, there we go. Well, I think that's right. Uh, stat B. Oh, no. Stat, oh, stat disk. Maybe that's just all I needed to do. There we go, A and B. Yep, so B is high density also. All right, so B drive works perfect. C drive works perfect. A drive's always worked somewhat. Um, actually, I had no problems at all with the A drive. So the gooeyness of the drives, I would say the B drive was definitely gooeyest, but the C drive was very, very close. It was very gooey also. So I have all those rubber pads in there now, which are a neoprene rubber. They should never melt. Epoxy glue should never let loose. I think we are good to go. All right. All right, so looks like it's all complete now. So the next step is to put it back together. Um, I thought this is the good opportunity to um, pluck up this hole that I've always had in here, uh, make a little plate and some brackets to hold this in. So I want to put it back together to look nicer. Um, so I'll work on that. Um, and uh, yeah, go from there. All right, I found a piece of uh, anodized aluminum. Uh, which was used for something, but uh, I cut it down to eight and a half by two and a quarter, which should be the right size. And I thought black would look good. So I think that'll be the new front plate. And then I'll build uh, a couple blocks that will bolt or screw 
Uh, there's a hole here that mounts this drive, so I can probably use that to mount a block in from this direction. And then a couple screws in from the front. Probably two screws on this side, two screws on that side. Um, and then on the side here, there's a hole in the case uh, that uh, grabs onto this drive. There's a hole down here, the same hole, right? The same hole here that goes in uh, for the case, and then this hole uh, will also appear in the case here. So, uh, bolt in here, bolt in here, two in the front. Should be good. All right, there we go. I think it looks really nice. Um, I'll put in just two screws. Uh, keep it clean. It's only holding a piece of sheet metal, so no problem. So it's better than ever. That's great. We're done.